What if you spent your entire life pursuing something that you absolutely loved? Grinding, scrimping, and scraping in pursuit of the next level. Sacrificing everything to try to get better. To be the absolute best. Reaching the pinnacle in that job and then going into your after job. Finally getting your dream job. And then when you get to your dream job. You can't even do your job because your office is inaccessible because it needs to be cleaned out. And then when you get there, allegedly, you're being asked to be part of the solution rather than being part of the problem and not say anything at all. Well, that's what allegedly happened to Ed Reed when he got to Bethune Cookman. He went on one of the most epic rants ever on two or three days ago. And uh, we just going to look at it right here. See what happens. But Deion Sanders was asked about this, and we're going to see what he said too. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment. Just comment something down below, man. That helps us out tremendously. We're a new channel. We're trying to get this thing off the ground, trying to grow, man. I'm trying to drop this. I'm trying to drop this sports heat every day of the week. We're dropping it back to back to back. Anytime I see something, y'all going to see it, man. So keep it locked right here. Make sure y'all like the video, and let's just see what Ed had to say, man. I should leave. I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers didn't clean my god office when I got here. I'm mutting y'all. Get your ass. Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's fucking trash. What are you talking about? need no god donors to come out and help out because people just want money that's why i don't have that's why i don't social network out of here man and do you think he was wrong or was he right on that i'm gonna tell you one thing i'm not gonna lie to you i know when stuff like that happens you can't go to social media and you just cannot talk because a lot of people on social media are so irrational it is not even funny not only that but some people are there strictly to try to get up under your skin they call trolls we've been on social media and doing stuff like this for since 2008 so i can tell you that sometimes people are having a bad day they're gonna come on there and say something just just against everything that you're even trying to convey and say the most ridiculous thing that they can and then that's what's going to happen they want they want to they thrive they don't have anything going for themselves so they thrive on trying to set you off and it seems like they succeeded there but ed did come back and apologize one thing i will say i don't understand how you invite somebody somewhere or you give them a job and their office is not clean and then you know they end up and he's trying to he's obviously trying to be part of the solution instead of the problem and just complaining and people still have a problem with it could he have handled it better quite possibly uh did he have to go to social media probably not and it was there a better way to handle it definitely we all have room for improvement in our lives and and in everything that we do but Deion Sanders was asked about this today on the talk, and this is what he had to say uh, when asked about Ed Reed and how he handled it. Don't stop. First of all, we've seen Ed in the light for a multitude of years, right? We've never seen Ed lose composure or speak out. Absolutely. So the fact that he did, won't we ask, what happened, Ed? Yeah. Because yeah. he's been nothing but a pillar of consistency his whole life. Yeah. So I support Ed. I love Ed. Ed, uh, he got it right. Yep. And I support Bethune because they're going to be wonderful with Ed at the helm, yeah, I feel. Amen. And you can't, I can't deny that, man. Like I said, Coach Prime ain't nothing but class, man. Of course he's going to come in there and say that. And I don't have any problem with him saying that. Because if you understand what he was allegedly, we got to say allegedly because you know people get mad. You know, they, the trolls come in. Oh, 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 he said this, he said that. And he's going to do this and that. But we're not worried about that. What he allegedly was forced to endure at Jackson during some of those issues or during some of that time and like i got people at jackson state i got people that that went there and they're telling me some of the things that he was actually forced to endure it does make it something it gives this it gives them some common ground to come together on so obviously he's going to support him because like we said he comes in and it's not exactly what you expected and then when you see that it's not what you expected you're going to have a reaction it's your right to have a reaction i would say if we if we're looking for improvement our college, we got to do better at, at showing these guys what they're getting into. But at the same time, they have to do a better job at saying, okay, 
seeing what they actually are getting into but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like i mean i, I do understand what they say you got to come see what you're getting into you got to know when there was a hurricane recently and all that but y'all can at least clean my guy office out man and read one of the best to ever do it man coming down there ain't even no contract or any of that and y'all don't even clean my man's office out like come on man we gotta do better man i ain't gonna lie to y'all but like i said i definitely understand both points of view you don't have to go to social media but at the same time like Dion said, he's never done anything like this before that we know of. So how, what must he be going through in order to have to put them on blast like that? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Get busy down there, man. Holla at your boy. And I'm going to holla at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ.